Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. If you are wondering uh, whether or not Golden Bachelor would bring the drama, it certainly has, as it spilled into the alumni of the first season. Teresa and Gary announced their divorce on Friday on Good Morning America and Nightline. Why? Because it's a capitalistic hellhole. And why make a one interview when you can do seven, right? So they did that. Not their fault, really. Uh, they shouldn't have gotten married in the first place. Also, because they were just trying to sell advertisements in early January at a time when there wasn't any other premium content on ABC. So that's what happened. Well, now we've got Teresa's friend, in quotes, shading Teresa, trying to offer her some advice on her sort of breakup post. How bizarre. How bizarre. Follow me on Instagram at Neals. Every morning and afternoon, Bachelor Rush Hour, the hit podcast, soon to be called The Rush Hour, where we do non-Bachelor entertainment news along with Bachelor news. Oh, you love The Bachelor? Great. Well, there's a whole other world out there we're covering, and you're going to love it. Follow us right now, Bachelor Rush Hour, the podcast. So here's what Teresa posted. Then I'll share what her friend said, and then her friend's apology, and all the other, dare I say, problematic behavior coming from, you guessed it, a therapist. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened, Dr. Seuss. How sweet of Teresa to post this. This is so sweet because I think of my mom, who's younger than Teresa, and my mom has no idea how to use the internet. So just to think that you could, not to, not to, um, uh, I don't know, make fun of older people. It's just, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, new technology out there. It can be complicated, right? Uh, how are we supposed to, what, you know, what's what's the uh, general protocols of how we act in the comment section, which we'll address in a second. Teresa posted this. To everyone who has expressed love, support, and kindness to me, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're all such wonderful human beings. It means the world to me that you took the time to reach out to me, whether in person, on the phone, by text, or by direct message. You are also kind to do so. For everyone else who is confused and angry and who does not understand, please try to find it in your heart to understand and try a little kindness. Not just for me, but for the world and for everyone you encounter. All right. Everyone can feel disappointed because of some parasocial relationship where you were hoping that love would exist. But if you're angry, if this made you mad, I suggest looking in the mirror <laughs> And doing some therapy or doing some work for yourself. Because why the hell would you be mad at what some strangers do or don't do, right? Uh, they tried their best. Good job. Didn't work out. It was one of the most incredible experiences of my life, she says. Something I never expected to happen at this point in my life. And I truly thought it was going to last forever. It turns out even at the age of 70, you don't know everything. Sometimes things don't go the way you planned, and that's okay. I take so many positives away from this experience. Most importantly, and above all, the incredible friends I now have, and all of these amazing, wonderful women, and in an Angie, Jenny, Peyton, and Charlie, the producers, the production crew, and so many of you. I ask you to please stay open to all the experiences, opportunities, and love that may come your way. Keep smiling. Keep laughing. I will. I love you all. All right, there's her post. And the normal commenters, Leslie, said, I love you, my friend. I'm so happy to call you that. You're beautiful inside and out. More women than not from the season of Golden Bachelor uh, formed great relationships and bonds and showed what it's about to find friends at an age when maybe it's harder to make friends. You know, you're kind of like the matriarch to your family. Well, what about a peer, you know? Well, they found so many. Uh, although what I'm about to share with you was not one of them. April, a uh, therapist, posted this on that now, it's now deleted, I believe, Instagram uh, post. She said, I wish you the very best. I truly tried to tell you, but this was your lesson to experience. Much love. And that's her very you-know-what way of saying, told you so. And this isn't the first time she's done this. Actually, let's jump forward here. She posted this on the day they announced their divorce. POV, watching drama you're not involved in unfold around you. Okay, April, way to make it about you, Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. What can, so either way, she's smiling, but what she's doing is just so nasty. She said, drama is part of the human experience, but so is protecting your own inner peace. Respect others on their journey through the highs and lows with grace and kindness. Oh my gosh, this is the type of stuff I hate from people, and I'm not making this age-based because it's of all ages, but people that think they're drama-free or those that say, I don't want drama in my life, 100% of the time are the most dramatic people you, you'll meet. All she had to literally do was nothing. 
not share all of the nonsense that's going on, not share all of the, I told you so, really, April? So then she posted this. I care for all women in the world. I want us all to learn from each other and be smart and empowered. Lessons offer up us the opportunity. We've all had our hearts broken. What we do with it is entirely up to us. Let's rock this world, ladies. Teresa can lead the way. All right, so now she makes it about women improvement, but really what it was was, how about a time and place? You know, I wouldn't have privately messaged this to anybody, yet alone publicly posted it on their divorce post. Are you ridiculous? And some commenters said, well, she was just sharing the truth. Well, sometimes we don't need to share the truth. Sometimes you just swallow that truth. April posted this then. I would like to publicly apologize for my error in judgment. I sincerely meant no ill will. I wish all women only peace and power to be their best selves. This was not one for me. Much love, excuse me, much love and gratitude for understanding. Always April. And then someone's commented, zip it. Yeah, zip it, April. And someone else said, don't apologize because you spoke exactly what most of us were thinking. <coughs> That's the point. Think it. You don't have to say it. It takes, it takes just as much strength to not say something as it does to say it. So yeah, we shared that. And it's like, look, this isn't her first time. And by the way, I mean, her, one of her courses, she offers the concept of soul maps. Wouldn't that take a lot of pressure out of understanding our partner, our families, and our kids? Uh, soul contracts. So she says how she, um, you know, is kind of, you know, she's made it clear she wasn't the right person for Gary. Well, why didn't she do one of her own soul packages, right? She could have um, looked at Gary's birth name and converted the sounds of 22 phonetic Hebrew letters, which are then converted into numbers within a diagram. The Star of David shows karmic patterns you face. Well, look, I'm just trying to help her out. Maybe she could have avoided that whole disaster in the first place. And it's not like she's, uh, and again, I'm not here to shit on April. I'm just showing how bizarre this all is. She's messy. So she posted a bizarre response to not, you know, being able to go on vacation with the other ladies of their quote unquote friend group. Now, I've grown to really like Susan and even Kathy, who came off very salty on the show, seems like a real good catch. Either way, here's what the ladies said when April, I guess, wasn't coming, and then we'll give April's response. Good morning, America. That's my turn now. Today. Yes, it is. Maybe it'll go on Times Square. Ooh. <laughs> Good morning. This is what we woke up to this morning, take this out. So they share what they woke up to, and of course, it was a little loud with the weed whackers in the background, but what can you do? And then we get her response. April posted this, For all the folks from Texas and Pennsylvania that are daunting me about why I am not going to St. Martin, St. Martin, although it is none of your business and there are only three people who knew I canceled, but karma never sleeps. Here are the reasons. I have a job and can't keep taking off. My roof had a major leak and I had to pay $4,500 so I can't afford to go. My dogs are freaking out. My son's birthday is this week. I have to go to New York to see my grand. I'm an adult and I have to make decisions that are best for my first love, not partying, but my kids and keeping my house. Um, very bizarre. She said, uh, please respect me and don't follow me for their dar dark dealings. This is adult bullying and it is a low, dense energy. This is a poor example of what adult female, female should act like. I seriously feel like I'm on the Golden Bachelor Part 2 and I'm the new Teresa being targeted. Shame on you. So she's not really understanding of how rude this comment is. And then she calls Susan and Kathy bullying uh, because I guess they were posting they were on vacation. Very bizarre. Finally, my last piece of very bizarre behavior here was, of course, April on the Vial Fiel podcast, uh, talking about Gary and kind of gives her a good, gives him a good slam. Like he did. I don't think he kind of got my jokes. <laughs> I just think it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Do you think Gary is a little was a little too serious for you? When I asked him his favorite song and he said Dean Martin and mine is Harry Styles. Um, <laughs> we agree you know, with and, you, and April. I, yeah. And I wanted to go to see um, Taylor Swift at a concert. Um, I, You know, that there is, there seemed to be an age difference, even though there isn't. So I think. So it, she sort of is dissing Gary for having an old school sense of taste. Meanwhile, she's the one who dated Frankie Valley. Yeah. 
If that's not old school, you got to Google who Frankie Valli is. I know all of the older people in the audience. How do you not know Frankie Valli? And that's a whole other story. Of course, uh, many accusations were that he groomed her. A completely different conversation. We have already have tons of empathy for her in this situation, not addressing that whatsoever. Hey, bro, I think that's just the Botox speaking. But no, I understand the point here. They're just, Yikes. they have different, you know, different likes and desires. So all, f all fun, folks. Age is a mental state. If I'm hearing you correctly, whatever, I don't even know your age, but you're, you live young and it felt like right. maybe for you, Gary lived a little older. Yeah. I, I, even if I don't live young, I like to think I live young. All right. Okay. <laughs> so there it is. You know? Yeah. All right. So again, I don't know, whatever. Do we want to share another clip from her? Let's I gotta see. find my guy. Yeah, I'll know it. I'll know it. I mean, I know I fall in love right away and there, there's certain things that I, you know, attached to somebody. And I then I go, now, had he... And by the way, I do want to... And I'm not saying... I'm not trying to bash April and say she's a bad person. I'm just... You know, whenever we have one of these stories, we look back at other stories we made of the same person and no one else from the Bachelor, from the Golden Bachelor, nobody else have we had sort of any sort of side-eyeing of but April. Pushing people away, knocking them over. All right, so April says... If All right, so anyway, let's get out of here. That's enough on April. She shaded Teresa, but good on Teresa for taking the high road. I left a comment being like, April, now's not the time. And I guess it was deleted because I think she deleted the whole initial comment. Well, hey, you know, April's uh, hip and young. She knows that these things live on forever. Either way, I'm not trying to throw too much shade. By all means, no one should reach out to her. Show her what grace uh, looks like. I, I, I could struggle and be like, how could I give her grace? I just, I get so, I get so... Um, annoyed because we all know these people in our lives right we all have that aunt or that person who's just they're just a you know what i can't even say some of the things i want to say because they are that way they just come off so like why did you even think that was you were on the right side of that and it's really not even it's it's harmless it's just like oh who would want to be friends with somebody who's like doing the i told you so game it reminds me of taylor nolan from that season of the bachelor where she tries to offer therapy to other people and it's like don't be a therapist when you're part of the problem right all right i'll be live on patreon this morning to check out more behind the scenes content and if you want don't forget check out the podcast bachelor rush hour all of your breaking entertainment news in one place i can't believe how many downloads we're regularly getting over ten thousand downloads a day now it's quickly become one of the most downloaded bachelor podcasts i, I i'm i'm floored folks appreciate all of you we'll be back with more right after this